Hello everyone, it's Marissa here and welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to show you how I start my painting by first um, putting a grid on my um, canvas or my wooden panel. Sometimes I don't grid anymore but um, for those who want to get a really good translation of a photograph to any size canvas, gridding may be the best option. I kind of like to grid as well because it allows me to see um, possible focal points in the grid as I divide my canvas um, considering the rule of thirds. So stay tuned! So normally what I do, this is a 16 by 16 wood panel uh, ready to go, is I divide my, um, my canvas any size into equal, nine equal squares. So how I do that is, I mean, like you can calculate the size uh, lengthwise and widthwise and divide it by three. Um, I am not uh, too particular uh, if it's if it's like a point three 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 or five 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 or point something. I just sort of eye it. I'm I'm more fl free flow. Um, although some other artists are uh, more um, specific and detailed, and they would measure it to one inch uh, squares. And um, those are really, really um, very important, particularly if you're doing a portrait and you want to be uh, more uh, realistic and you want to make sure the proportions are right. Um, I'm a landscape painter, so I kind of like to add a little bit of this and eliminate some, some parts of the landscape if I choose so. But I want to know where I could focus um, um, in my canvas. Like I want to know where my focal point would be. And I also want to know that I am not right dead center in the middle, particularly for my horizon line. So, because this is a 16 by 16, I calculated it to be 5 inches 0.333 I think I need a calculator hold on take two I'm back calculator here <laughs> um, 16 divided by 3 is 5.333 I'm right yay um, yeah sometimes math <laughs> math art there similar but not quite anyway um all right so what i normally do is i use a pastel pencil um and you can get this from any art store or more economical you can use chalk right regular uh, uh chalk that they use on um blackboards in uh, school days circa before the millennials so i also use a t-square which handy dandy because you can just um let it rest on the panel once you have your measurements and then it will give you a nice straight line so i like that okay so 5.3 i have a ruler here so i can more or less mark uh, 5.3 and I'm just eyeing it because I I don't need to be very specific here I just want to get a really good estimate in dividing this into equal spaces Okay. 
so as you can see it's divided equally into nine spaces nine squares and where the horizontal and vertical line intersect those are possibilities for your focal point so when you're looking at a landscape you can decide what are you emphasizing or what is your focal point is it the sunset is it the rock in the distance is it the island is it that tree then you can more or less draw it in in any of this specific focal points and um, it actually will work uh, in rules of composition so that's pretty much how I like to grid my work now um, my students also go okay let's say you have a um, um, uh, a picture like this what I normally like to do is I get from the business store um, a transparent sheet so it looks like that right it's very transparent so with this which is usually an 8 by 11 and a half or 8 and a half by 11 I divide that into 9 equal squares already then I can put the lines outside then I can put my painting or my picture um, in here to um, get my proportions. So I know already this tree is focal point number one. It intersects right there. And this tree could be your secondary focal point. So I like that. And then I can transfer that onto my image knowing that my tree would be a little bit on that side. So to give you an example, now this is a square. So what you could do too is you could already crop this off into a square and then grid your, your lines accordingly to uh, a square size and then it'll give you um, uh, more or less uh, a good estimate of how you can transpose the photograph into your um, any size canvas or any size wood panel um, so this painting or this uh, scene I took actually uh, yeah my husband actually took this when we were in Algonquin camping one summer and thoroughly love birch trees so just to give you an idea how this would transfer like this birch tree here onto this board I will more, uh, give you an idea so So I don't know if you can see that, but um, these are the two trees based on this painting. So as you can see, let's go this way first. This is the top part uh, on this first square on the grid. Then I know that this tree is a little bit on close to this line, so I could go all the way down. I know it sort of intersects all this focal point in there and goes all the way down here. I know this other tree is on the opposite side just after this main line and then it's sort of on that area all the way down. It's pretty straight along so that way it goes all the way down. So I sort of have an idea of where my two trees will will sit on my painting. Once that's done, I go on top of this with paint again to seal the deal. So let's see. I like how that looks. So 
I like to use Quinacridone Magenta because it's um, a really, 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 really uh, intense color and very, very bright. Um, hang on. And there, so I use Quinacrino Magenta, um, and this is a golden paint, beautiful color. It is in the liquid form, so I was able to not even use any water and just trace down my line, my chalk lines, and so I sealed the deal. I'm committed now. <laughs> And so that's what I am going to paint. So if you would like to see me paint this painting, stay tuned. I will do another video on it. Um, and I uh, hope you can join me when I do paint this. And um, if you like this particular um, technique, or if you like this video, please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe I really appreciate it if you subscribe and uh, please share share this to anyone who might think uh, who you might think would um, benefit from uh, this uh, technique of gridding okay so this is my video for today thank you for joining me stay safe be well and I'll see you again in the next one. Sweet out.